Hello and welcome back guys. This is Ibrahim Qureshi here. Today I'm going to discuss about Veeam Backup. Um, recently I was attending a, a VExpert seminar and um, in that they had Veeam invited and uh, they have shown the product uh, um, obviously from the point of view of um, sharing it with the community. Um, the good thing is Veeam Backup and Replication Community Edition is available for most of the people who are, you know, having their home labs. And uh, Veeam is um, done a really great jo job. They have given all the features available in the full-fledged software to the community member as a gift, really. Um, so what we get is we can protect up to... 10 workloads and it doesn't matter whether it's physical I can even um, protect my physical laptop um, or a MacBook and virtual machines at the same time and I guess obviously from that point of view where I am running a lab 10 protecting 10 workload is more than enough because obviously all I will be protecting is my vCenter server well even I don't really care about vCenter server if I run vCenter HA but the AD server maybe the you know um, and uh, any other server which I think is important to me I would be you know looking at protecting them and I can only count like three or four of them even if I protect vCenter along with the uh, VROPS and uh, VRA uh, and maybe a bunch of uh, Windows servers or horizon and um, that still basically is going to be more than enough so let's get started so what I have done is I have downloaded the software um, so as you can see here we have backup and recovery software for any workloads community edition is free forever so that's the plus uh, protect 10 workloads and an unlimited amount of ad hoc VM backups Get fast replication item level recovery and e discovery. So, a quick fun fact is uh, Veeam was one of the product which was uh, which developed the instant uh, recovery um, technology back in the days. So they they actually got patent for the, uh, that as well. Okay, so let's jump on our virtual machine and. Uh, I have already mounted the ISO, so we'll go and click on drive. Only have one drive. Um, I'm going to quickly add another drive which I have assigned already. So we are going to use that drive to The drive is going to be where we'll be installing software and also which we'll be using for backups. There you go, you can see the other drive which is here and it's asking it to be initialized. Click on initialize and I'm going to do a quick format here using let's call it V for Vim. Format, yep. So we got the drive running, good news, and then we'll basically jump on our ISO connect. There you go, it has been connected. Let's execute it. Let's clear everything now. So, a nice and easy setup. Um, the good thing is, it does have some heavy um, applications in the background where it needs SQL database and stuff like that. For community edition, basically they have bundled up the SQL Express already. It will say 
um, we haven't detected any um, you know there are dependencies which are missing and you want me to go ahead and install it and then we can just click on yes and it does it so VM backup and replication and then we have VM backup enterprise manager VM backup replication console and enterprise replication plugins there's some training links here documentation and install so basically we are going to install VM backup and replication version 10 click on install So the installation does take a, a while because there, are, there will be a quite a lot of applications uh, which will be installed. Um, but what we will be doing is I'm going to pause the video where it is not required for us to, you know, just babysit so that I speed up the video. And uh, I'm just going to try and keep this within 20 minutes so you can see the entire process of how to get it done. Once this is launched, we accept the terms and conditions. Accept the terms and conditions of third party component licensing agreement, which basically uh, might involve other products like Microsoft SQL Express and uh, other products. So basically, now it's going to check for the license. We do not have a license so what will happen is if you don't have a license just click next to install the community edition that's how simple it is click on next with all the products which are going to be installed with veeam backup and replication we'll get back catalog and replication console so we will let the software ins be installed on this particular drive and then we'll be using the other drive which we have created for storing our data so what we can do is click on next. And as I was saying, these are all the dependencies which it has, which it needs. So Microsoft Report Viewer and Registry Review Table 2015. SQL Express, Microsoft SQL Server 2014, Management Studio, and then Microsoft System CLR types for SQL Server 14. Um, so we just need to click on install, and then it will basically go ahead and install all the components which are missing first before, and then it will install, start installing the Veeam software. So, enabling missing features, please wait. So, we'll leave it at this. Um, I would like to remind you guys to subscribe to my channel if you like my content. I will do new product reviews every week. I will um, also be doing uh, how to videos. So, be sure to check them out as well. There's a playlist for how to videos. Uh, and if you're new to virtualization, be sure to check out my vSphere 6.7 and vSphere 7 tutorial for beginners on YouTube. Um, hope you like this uh, video. Please feel free to smash that like button and hit subscribe and turn the notifications on as well at the same time. So we are going to pause here. Okay, yeah. So it has passed all these. So most of the stuff which we're missing has now been sorted. Click on next. So these are the settings. As you can see, it's going to be picking up V drive, programmable Veeam data drive, which we created. Automatically, it has picked up. If you remember, we created that drive here. This one, yeah. Um, so I'm happy with these settings. Let's move on. So this is the port which we need to connect to, and this will be the server port as well. And the name of the SQL uh, SQL database is this one. 
so once you're happy with all this information what you need to do is you need to click on install and then we just wait for this uh, installation to complete so now it has got Microsoft SQL 2016 SQL Server 2016 service pack 2 installed We'll let the setup continue and we'll pause the video now and then we'll continue once the setup is completed and hopefully we should be able to configure our vCenter once it is completed. So the installation of Veeam backup and replication is completed. Um, you can see installation succeeded. You can click finish.